This delicious artisan bread is very easy to make. It only uses four ingredients. You don't even have to proof the yeast and no kneading necessary. Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. If you're looking for authentic Belizean recipes, then you're in the right place. My name is Barbara and this is Cooking Made Simple. These are the four ingredients, some active dry yeast, salt, warm water, and bread flour. If you have a plastic container like for storage, you can use that, but I'm going to use this pot, all right? So let me go ahead and put the yeast, the salt, and the warm water. Let me go ahead and give this a stir, just so that everything can be well incorporated. We're not trying to proof the yeast. Let's go ahead and add all the flour in at once. So that's why we're using a tall pot or a tall plastic container if you have one because you want to be able to stir like this. So just work it around. Go ahead and screenshot this guys. This is the list of the ingredients that you're going to need. Now let me go ahead and get my hand in here. You can still continue using the wooden spoon if that's what you prefer but I think it just goes easier with the hand. So I'm just trying to get everything to come together like this. And I'm going to put the lid on a little bit open and see you in two hours. All right, guys, it's been two hours. Let's see how our bread looks. Kind of ugly, right? <laughs> Don't worry. It's going to work out. Let's get it out. And then soak the pot right away to get it off there off my ring and we're not really kneading all right because I want this to be a no knead type of bread we're just kind of like trying to get it or we could cut it into two you know what I was doing today guys I was checking out my analytics at YouTube to see what all countries are watching me and it was such fun I'm gonna have to get the computer and show you guys so what I'm doing no kneading take a look trying to make it into a ball. So smooth off the top like this and then kind of pinch everything to close in the bottom. Doesn't matter if it's like a little bit rough looking. Okay? Now, some people, they'll score it after the bread has risen. I can't do that. I try to do that. Jada used this knife, this bread knife, and she did it because she goes, I used to work at a um, bakery. I can do this. And she did it. She cut too deep and my bread bursted. See right here? Just saying. So what I'm going to do is score it now. Let me get a knife. A smooth knife. And for this one, I'm going to butter it. For both of them, I'm going to butter it, but for this one, I'm going to put something else on top. Now, light the oven. Let me do that. Let me make sure there's nothing in here. Do you have that kind of house where there's always stuff in the oven, like a pan of oil? It's the same thing here. 425, because this won't take a while to get up there. Let's move this bread right here and put it over here. And this is the one where I'm going to put the sesame seeds on top, all right? Not going to put it on both because the kids don't like the seed. So let me do the other one. We want to make sure that one part of it is smooth because that's going to be the top. And then just pinch everything on the bottom. And kind of form it like this. Now let me go ahead and slice into it. Now be my guest if you can slice it after it's risen, okay? I'm just not great at that. So it takes about 40 minutes to get like this. So that's why we wanted to have the oven going. Let me stick them in. One and two. And I'm going to get some water to pour it in this tray on the bottom. Please note that I'm not pouring water in my oven, on the bottom of the oven. It's in a tray, all right? Let me set the timer for 30 minutes. Now, I have a couple minutes left. So I'm going to go ahead and switch them around, okay? Bottom one goes on the top. And then the one that was on the top goes on the second shelf. Don't put any more water. We're good. Two more minutes left. So now they're done. 
Let me get them out and put them on the wire cooling rack. I'm so excited for these. Turn the oven off. Look how I'm tempting you guys. Now tap it. If it sounds like this, it's done. Take a look. Now let's see if you can hear the bread crackle. Listen. I'll cut this one. I'll cut the ugly one. <laughs> oh, knife upside down. Listen to that. Mmm. Let me move all this stuff out of the way so you guys can see. Take a closer look. I hope you uh, guys could. I hope you guys can hear the bread crackling earlier. I want to like squish it, so I'm taking my time. Hmm, nothing like hot bread. I'm gonna save that for Joe. I'm not gonna be stingy, because if I don't, he'll cut the other end, and the bread will start falling apart. It doesn't really fall apart, but it's hard to cut. Let's taste, guys. <laughs> the outside part crispy, the inside part saucy. Mm -hmm. mm, child. What in life could be better? Mm -hmm. We didn't really need it, right? Stir it up in that pot. I did have to get my hand in there because the wooden spoon don't bring it together. But that's not really needing, that's like clumping. And then, that's my own word. And then when we cut it into two and made it into a ball, we didn't really need. Mm -hmm. 30 minutes to bake. Put the water. The water makes this part crunchy. And you have bread. So in what? Two hours the first time around because we didn't proof the yeast. And this is the way, the easiest way to do it, right? And then 40 minutes the second time around and then 30 minutes to bake. So not a Sunday morning thing unless you want to get up early. But definitely start in the afternoon, have it by dinner thing. Mm -hmm. What time is it? Two o'clock. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So it says that my top geography is the United States. Belize came in second. Canada the UK and India, that's the top five. Normally the Philippines make it into the top five, but they didn't today, but they were number six. So it says United States was 56,206 people watching from the United States. Hello, thank you guys. Thank you, my American family. You know I'm naturalized, right? And then Belize, 6,800, 6,847. I was like, that's a lot of people watching in Belize. Thanks guys. Canada. It is 3,400, 3,485, and then the United Kingdom is 2,269, and did I say India, right? India is 1503, and the Philippines is 1434. Come on, Philippines. Come on back up into the top five. Thanks for watching. If you're seeing me on Facebook, don't forget to follow and like the page and put me in your watch so that you can know when I upload another video. And if you're seeing me on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. Bye now.